G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. As you can tell by the title, today's review is the backcountry, or is it the backcountry? Anyway, cottage pie, freeze dried meal. What I'll do, I'll put up a picture of the package, the front and the back, on the screen. Pause the video if you want to read exactly what's in it. So if you saw my previous video, I think it's called Making My Pack Lighter something like that anyway. I took it out the original packaging and then put it in a Ziploc pack which ended up to about a quarter of the sizes of the original packaging. So it saved me a lot of space. That's probably the name of it, saving space in your pack. <coughs> and this one is the cottage pie. And you've got the actual cottage pie, the meat and veg bits to it. And you've also, I think, is the mashed potato side. And they came in two different sachets or the mashed potatoes came in, in a separate one to the rest but all in the main package but all I did was throw it all in the one and on their uh, packaging it says 125 ml which is half a cup of water for the mashed potato and the same for the, the meat and the veg side of it so all I've done is I've written it on here 125 ml, 125 ml, half a cup and what's in the package and all I'm going to do is, so we've got 125 mils, 250, so I've got just over 250, probably closer to 300 mil. I'd rather it a little bit more wet than dry, and we'll just see how it goes. The little stove I'm using today is the little BRS, which I've had about four years now, maybe longer. Still going fantastic. Let's get this on. Oh, happy to turn the gas on. And put that over there. Put a pot on it. And the lid so it boils quicker. It's still in the camera. Just about. Uh, back on the Bibbleman track at the Harris Dam shelter and I'll be walking into Collie which is about 22, 23 ish kilometre walk it's going to be a nice long day tomorrow the last one of these I did in the park turned out pretty well it did I was quite surprised uh, not having it in the main packaging didn't make any difference the only difference it made was that we washed my pot afterwards because I'd used it to eat out of but for saving space in my pack that's nothing, that's not going to be a problem at all because I do carry a cup so I can always have a hot drink so what I'll do now is I'll speed the video up give it a chance to boil and when that's boiling I'll come back to you rolling boil there. Cool. And I'll cool enough to grab it. The pot I'm using is the Tokes Titanium 550ml pot or mug or cup or whatever you want to call it. Okay let's get the lid off. Pour all the contents in in one go. Excuse me, and give it a dunk and a stir. Now, like I said in the last video, I did when I did it this way with a review of the food, was if it goes cold, I'll just put it back on the stove and warm it up gently so there's no worries there. a bit of lumpy bits of that mashed potato but keep stirring it in break it up as we go so 
Now it says normally give it 10 to 15 minutes to rehydrate, so now we've got all the lumpy bits out, or as many as I could. I'll probably find more later. Get the lid back on to help keep it warm. The time now is 2.22 in the afternoon. So we'll come back and have a look at 2.27. Perfect timing. Five minutes that was. Let's give it another five and do it again. <laughs> Nearly 10 minutes altogether now. That is still nice and hot, so it's not cooling down that quick. Let's try a P, because they're normally the ones that take a while, aren't they? Sweet corn. It's a little bit longer. So I'll give it another five minutes. How long has it been now? 14 minutes. I think that's close enough to the 15, don't you, to give it a go. Take that off. Now, I'm glad I put that extra water in this because with the mashed potatoes, I don't know if you can see that, it is a little bit stodgy, I'd say the word is. So that would have been a, personally, I think that would have been a bit dry if I put just the 250 ml in total in there. So let's give it a go now. Uh, still a little bit dry in places. Actually tastes a bit sweet. I can tell you straight away I'm not over keen on this one. I know there's sweet corn in there and the peas, but there's something else that's sweet. Don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That sweetness is just putting me right off. It's supposed to be cottage pie. No, how sweet that is. It's more like cottage dessert. No, I don't like that. No, I'm not going to eat that one. Sorry. Normally I'll eat it whether I like it or if it's okay, but that is just one that I can't eat. Uh, no, it's not one I'm going to buy again. It's not one I'm going to recommend to somebody if they want a cottage pie because it does not taste like a cottage pie. Nothing at all like cottage pie. Hmm. No, 
I think I'll make do on my bars instead. I'm glad I carry them little emergency bars. I like mini meals in a bar for emergencies. That, probably more calories than this. And I know I like that. And that's meant to be sweet. That's uh, apple and cinnamon. In a lot of my videos I've done a review of them apple and cinnamon emergency bars. But I've used them a couple of times and I'm in the process of using them more and more and more see if I can do two or three days without any side effects or anything bad or feeling terrible without food or any uh, freeze dried food out there so I'll let you know how that goes so that'll be coming up in the next spider in the next uh, <coughs> three or four months and anyway, I hope this has given you my interpretation of this cottage pie and yeah the backcountry cuisine I believe it's called for get that right if not I'll put it up here so I didn't write it on the packaging which one it was but I believe it's the backcountry cuisine but I hope you if you like something sweet yeah maybe but I don't so if you like cottage pie I cannot recommend this to you because it does not taste like cottage pie at all it is too sweet and no um, no so I hope you've got something from this video and I've helped you out if you've been thinking about this one and if you haven't already subscribed please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell then click all click the like button and share it with all your mates and family and if you are already a subscriber and done that again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care.